submitted and asked uh, yeah yeah i think that's right mm, yeah yeah right i think girish i believe yours was the first which actually came in let's look at your okay so just give me a couple of seconds where i just want to review the thumbnails to get a fair idea about how you're doing okay girish there you are good okay Hmm. Okay. Cool. Beauty. See, so even from a thumbnail, right? Uh, so typically, Girish and even others. Okay. Uh, if you see, like, even when you go through the thumbnail, okay, in this, my attention it just grabs over here. The last two images over here. If you see these two, I mean, like, it, it just goes there. In in fact, I am itching to click this image. This is beautiful. Okay, so your depth of field is very good. Composition wise, the left thing coming into the frame, if you could have avoided that, probably a little change in the angle girish, it would have worked. This is a beautiful image for me, except for the, from the left side, uh, those other thing which is dropping in. Okay, so that is something which you should have basically avoided. This is beautiful. So this one, and I think the next one, if you ask me, yeah, this is good again. Okay. Wow. Let's go to the full screen and enjoy the image. Purely. This is uh, extreme close up macro of I think the pollen inside the flower. Okay, you have got a very nice shallow depth of field. Uh, there are a little bit hot spots at the back uh, uh, because of the post processing. You see those pinkish, whatever those colors are right. You see those patches is in the background. Okay, so that in the highlights in your post processing that highlights you have to a little bit reduce, but this is a beautiful image. So these two, it really caught my attention. So let me just give you feedback on some of the other ones, Girish. Okay, so your depth of field almost you got it. Sorry, background has gone for a toss. Okay, so normally in the macro photography, real good images, if you want to make of macro, background has to be really good. Background has to be complementary to your subject. That is very, very important. Let me just check the battery again, guys. Okay, it's 50% off. Okay, my voice is still shooting high up. It's going good. So, Girish, macro depth of field composition, I'm happy, but background, sorry, no. Let me go to full screen here. This is good. I think this is probably the jumping spider, what we call. So this is again, uh, it's a very nice, very, very shallow depth of field. This is normally how they photograph this. So you could have worked with a little bit larger depth of field and got the entire spider in sharp focus. But personally, this still works. This is nice. Okay, so nice close up macro. Yeah, full screen. Uh, no, this simply doesn't work. So here, if you see Girish, too many things in the frame. In, in fact, I, I don't know what is it that you're trying to show me. Okay, things not in focus. At least the front mushroom or whatever that one is, that is in sharp focus, but it's basically overlapping with the background out of focus, the same thing. This just doesn't work. The composition has gone bad. Focusing depth of field has gone bad. Background has gone bad. Too many of those things has basically spoiled this image. Okay, so work on those aspects. This is another nice abstract one. But honestly speaking, Girish, uh, in this one, I actually i'm not able to uh, find out what you're trying to show is it that small water droplet over there or just that leaf pattern okay so that is where uh, the core subject what you want to portray it's not standing out in this image but composition depth of field other things it's it's really good okay this i love it now again the depth of field if you see right Macro, macro close-ups, depth of field, you have to play around. If you see the behind petal, that has gone out of focus. So you have to decide if you are showing all those various elements in the frame, keep all of them in sharp focus or that pollen one, what you shot, just the key thing in focus, rest everything has to be out of focus, okay? Here, some of these petals are in focus. The background is totally out of focus. This image will not work when it comes to real good macro. So this is again an abstract one. This up to some extent works here. If your focus was more on the pollen at the center of the flower, if that was your 
focusing plane that would have worked okay so here if you see your focus has gone to the left side on top okay and then the rest of the thing has gone out of focus it's a nice abstract image but personally my preference would have been to get the focus right at the center to show those pollen okay but the color combination background other things the silky flow kind of a thing what is there in this image that is lovely uh, this again um, it's nice it's it's beautiful if you ask me uh, mainly because it looks more like a painting okay so it's very mild colors and a nice darker background okay the petals are not overexposed and if you see this is the perfect lighting condition okay so overall this is the perfect lighting condition for macro close-up where you get more natural vibrant colors and in fact that reminds me uh, so whenever you're shooting in uh, diffused lighting right work with the white balance white balance is very critical to get really good colors use a white balance if you don't have presets use the flash white balance for outdoor it's in the range of 5400 kelvin or if you have manual white balance use 5400 5600 5800 kelvin play around with these things this is good it's like a painting i love this ha ah, extreme close up but a few highlights in the background it's little blown out okay but still a good try okay so again uh, uh, i will not be in a position to go through every single image at a very high level, I can give inputs uh, for uh, uh, improvement, okay? So Girish, uh, for you, if I see overall, uh, more or less you are playing good with the depth of field. In some images, the composition has gone bad. Background, as I keep saying, watch out for the background. And these two, lower these two images, let me just check this one. Now your depth of field again is not up to mark in this one okay but uh, the last two flowers the last two ones i really liked it okay so work on that this is again almost there nice okay so thanks girish thanks for submitting and hope those feedback uh, helps you Pallavi, bikash arpan everybody rashmi okay yep priyank okay good okay and also guys uh, the other thing is like I know some of the regular names I see here. Uh, uh, so any new names which pops up, I'll try to do the review. 